Delhi Dangal continues over the liquor policy. This, remember, while the liquor policy has been withdrawn, it continues to be a huge issue. The CBI has now taken into arrest a Hyderabad-based chartered accountant, Buchi Babu Gorankla, for his alleged role in formulation and implementation of the Delhi excise policy. And that there was an alleged wrongful gain to Hyderabad-based wholesale and retail licenses and their beneficial owners under the Delhi excise policy. He will be produced in the court today. This, remember, is a big news that uh, the CBI has now taken into arrest a Hyderabad-based chartered accountant who was formerly associated with uh, K. Kavita. This is, uh, his name is uh, Buchi Babu Gorantla. There are allegations of uh, implementation of the policy and wrongful gain to our wholesale and retail licenses for their beneficial owners. This is only escalating. Remember, this is the investigating agencies uh, right now who are one by one making these arrests. Let's quickly go across to my colleague Munish Pandey for the latest on that. Uh, Munish, can you tell us how uh, they have decided to go uh, uh, for a chartered accountant in this case and who's formerly worked with K. Kavita? Well, Pooja, as far as the Central Bureau of Investigation is concerned, what confirmation we have that a person identified as Puchi Babu Gurantala, he has been arrested for his alleged role in the Delhi Excise Policy and its scam. As far as this person is concerned, he is a former CA of K. Kavita. His name was already mentioned in the CBI charge sheet and what we have been given to understand is that yesterday he was called by the Central Bureau of Investigation in Delhi for questioning. During questioning, uh, there were certain facts regarding the excise policy case which he was aware but uh, when he uh, uh, was not able to disclose that information to the Central Bureau of Investigation based on the available evidence, they decided to arrest him. Now, why his arrest becomes very important because remember, K. Kavita, the daughter of uh, Telangana's chief minister, she is already in the center of the Central Bureau of Investigation. Time and again, Kavita has denied the allegations, but both the agencies, not only the Central Bureau of Investigation, but the enforcement red tape, both the agencies have uh, uh, named K. Kavita in their charge sheet. And K. Kavita is a, uh, a politician and this becomes extremely important that those who were close to K. Kavita have been arrested by the enforcement record. Tell earlier. us about the background of this case as well for the viewer who's tuning in and uh, would be wondering how possibly there is a, a Delhi dangal over a liquor policy and that has a connect to K. Kavita all the way uh, to Telangana. So can you tell us a bit more about how and uh, the investigation has been proceeding and apart from this the politics too? Well, Pooja, initially the investigation was in regards to the Delhi excise policy case. Those politicians, including Manish Sodia, apart from uh, several other politicians, they were questioned by the Enforcement Directorate and Central Bureau of Investigation. Uh, as far as uh, Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sodia is concerned, he was earlier questioned by the uh, Central Bureau of Investigation. He was raided also. As far as the connection of uh, uh, um, Hyderabad-based uh, uh, liquor businessman K. Kavita and others are concerned in Delhi excise policy case 2021-2022 during that period there were several investments came from uh, the uh, Telangana businessmen especially from people who were close to K. Kavita and what is being alleged by the Central Bureau of Investigation and ED is that uh, this excise policy was formed in a way that certain people should get benefit from, um, uh, from this Stay on with me. I'm also joined by my colleague Apurva in Hyderabad. Let's go across to her. Apurva, because uh, this has a connect from Delhi all the way to Hyderabad. What are you picking up about any statement that has come from K. Kavita's office? Because this now is really getting very close to her door. This is a former chartered accountant uh, who's now been arrested by the CBI. And what has led the CBI to go for this guy? Sir Pooja, remember this is not the first time that uh, uh, Bucci Babu Gorakla was uh, in fact uh, picked up by officials there. In fact, last year in 2022 when ED officials had conducted raids and across various locations in connection to the Delhi liquor scam, uh, Bucci Babu Gorakla's uh, residences and offices were also one of these places where raids have been 
was connected twice his office and residences were uh, you know uh, raided by officials there in connection to the liquor scam as well in fact in the charge sheet his name has also been mentioned along with that of k kavita uh, this liquor scam has seen a lot of connections and ties here with uh, uh, telangana especially around uh, k kavita and uh, uh, people who have been working with her former uh, you know former uh, beat former uh, uh, chartered accountants former auditors or even uh, currently as well people who have been in touch with her as well we've seen now uh, you know uh, Bhuchi Babu Gartala was in fact uh, uh, summoned to Delhi, where uh, he was called in for investigation, uh, interrogation uh, later on uh, when CBI officials had officially arrested him. The investigation is still uh, ongoing, and what we do know, uh, uh, you know, uh, is that uh, this will not be just uh, uh, one person that they will be looking into. Earlier on, we had seen several other names. Interesting. So what you're telling us, Apurva, is that there could be more arrests coming forth. This, remember, is a chain trail, and the CBI is one by one taking into arrest. Whether whether it's from Delhi, a uh, businessman, or it is Hyderabad-based chartered accountant. That's the big news coming in. And uh, Apurva and Munish Pandey in different cities will be tracking all the latest on this. Thank you, Apurva and Munish, for now.